A tattoo is uh, balls of ink that are injected into the superficial layers of the skin. And these balls of ink are captured by immune cells and they're stored in those immune cells, but the balls of ink are too big for those immune cells to digest and carry away. So they get stuck in the skin uh, inside these immune cells called macrophages. The principle of laser is that it shoots a beam of energy into the skin of a specific wavelength and that will target that pigment, explode it into smaller particles. And those smaller particles can now be captured by these immune cells, these macrophages, and carried away in the bloodstream and, uh, and excreted and destroyed externally. They used to think they could just put laser onto the tattoo pigment and the ink would absorb the heat and disappear. What they didn't factor was that the tattoo pigment's sitting in tissue. If you heat the pigment, you'll burn the surrounding tissue. The first breakthrough occurred in the early 90s when they were able to make lasers that had a very short pulse width in the nanosecond range. Some colours like black absorb all colours, so any Q-switch laser, picosecond laser, can remove black. Other colours are much more difficult to remove. Green, for example, requires a red colour laser light. The picosure is a picosecond laser. A picosecond is a trillionth of a second, and the current one, the first and only one in production, the picosure, is running at about 700 trillionths of a second. We have just introduced these lasers into Australia, so we can only comment on the research experience in the US. What they found there was that previously resistant green, some cases were moving in two or three treatments, and general tattoos seem to clear in half the time of the conventional nanosecond technology. I'm here today to have my tattoos removed. Um, I've had them done for seven years. I found in the last probably 12 months to 15 months that I've been quite, um, I suppose, conscious of them. I suppose after the treatment I won't have to worry about um, you know, trying to cover my feet up all the time. My first one was at a tattoo parlour and I only ever had one tattoo done at a tattoo parlour. I got one done by a, a guy that I met over in Thailand who did some with bamboo, which was a really nice experience. I did some of them myself with a needle strapped to a chopstick. When you're having a laser tattoo removal, it is essentially a medical procedure and every medical procedure carries with it risks. Feet are sensitive areas and because the laser may hurt a little, rather than giving you the choice, I'm going to actually suggest you put some anaesthetic in now. If you use too much power, you will burn the surrounding tissue, it will ulcerate, and you'll be left with holes in the skin that heal with scarring. And unfortunately, new operators tend to have this problem. There's a learning curve. The power relates to the size of the treatment spot. So you'll see, as I increase the spot size, the energy which is measured in joules per centimetre squared goes down and that's the aiming beam which tells us where the light will go. Because you've never had the treatment before we need to work out what the right power setting is. One of the big mistakes in tattoo removal yes. is using too much power early and you know people think oh the more power the faster will go not true that's how you get a scar in western australia they have legislation meaning that only doctors can use lasers or nurses supervised by doctors in new south wales and victoria there's currently no legislation but i believe it's being worked on so basically anybody can do it it's a problem and the other problem too is these lasers also work on moles and freckles and things, and mixed in with that are melanomas. So if the people have no training in skin diagnosis, it's just totally inappropriate. Okay, here we go. Steam, we think, forms in the cell, so it goes white. And if you have a look at it immediately afterwards, it all looks white. A few seconds later, it looks black again when the steam comes through. And those tiny little droplets of blood are not from the laser, they're, they're from, from the, the anaesthetic. When the anaesthetic wears off, will I feel much pain no, in that area? No, I don't think you'll feel a thing, but, but any stinging or irritation will have worn off by the time the anaesthetic wears off. Okay. Now I'm just, you know, we're moving it fairly quickly, so I'm looking for any miss areas. Yeah, so how are you feeling now? Good, it feels a bit numb um, and a bit tingly, but yeah, great, can't feel a thing. We're hoping four or five treatments and we'll clear these.
When I first got them, I really liked them. I really liked being part of that culture. I, I enjoyed getting the tattoos. They just don't mean what they meant to me when I first got them. If my children wanted to have tattoos, I could understand why they'd want them. Uh, and then a few years after they got them, I could probably understand why they might want them removed. I would tell them, think very deeply. Think about who you want to see it, meaning site selection. If their first tattoo should be in a site that they only have to show to people who they want to, and if possible, pick black ink, because that's the easiest ink to remove.